And that means you can't rely on the media as it is today either. Oh, of course not. All the media in this country, radio, television, and print, is all owned by five corporations. All of these corporations that own the media are owned and controlled, and members of the Council on Foreign Relations sit on their board of directors. Can you name those five corporations? Is that... Uh, not off the top of my head. Okay. I, I could try, but I don't want to take a chance on being uh, inaccurate. But you can trace that yourself. Okay. Remember, if you go down and you trace the ownership of a station or a newspaper, and you get to a corporation, remember that somebody owns that corporation, and it's usually another corporation. But when you, when you trace the interlocking of all these things, when you get to the top, there's five. And all journalists know that there's some things you don't write about and you don't talk about because you'll lose your job. And that's where the control is. And that's why they pay anchormen like Dan Rather $2 million a year. Because he doesn't question them. He knows that if he goes against them, he's going to lose $2 million a year. Do you think a man that looks pretty and sits in front of a TV camera for the 6 o'clock news is worth $2 million a year? No way. I don't care how long he works, and I don't care what he does. There is no job worth $2 million a year.